Hello everyone and welcome back to East the Oath in Falgana. Now, it's some mountain climbing. Once you get there, to the mountain. Yeah, it's pretty much the exact opposite way we got to the Eldrin's Ruins. And Elena was right, the monsters here are no joke. Note how we can't actually get in until we have the double jump. Just making sure there's nothing there. The berm leaves tend to hide in grassy spots. And I'm fairly sure I did not get all of them in the practice room. So, for the first part of this area, you pretty much have to treat it like when you get to a new area in East 2. That is to say, shoot everything with fireballs until you've leveled up some. Almost everything here is at least somewhat weak to fire. And the things that aren't are invincible to pretty much everything else you have. At least right now. The Elder Mountain is a pretty big dungeon. I don't exactly know how many videos this one is going to take. At least two, maybe three. Plus there's a bunch of stuff after it's done. Okay, here's our first berm leaf, and we're going to need four of them because... Uh, there are four Pickards. Yeah, the practice run had a couple of strange things happen. It, such as... Well, I already told you about how I died seven uh, times against a boss that really shouldn't be exceptionally difficult for someone who has played this game quite a bit. And there's another thing that happened that I'll talk about later. However, the dungeons themselves never actually killed me in the practice run, so I expect them to kill me a lot later in the, this particular playthrough. This is also an area where they made certain other big changes to the bosses. But that's okay because Adol has many, many more options in this game than he did in Wanderers as far as mobility and fighting and that sort of thing go. In Wanderers, Adol was pure swordsman. He had no magic whatsoever besides the... buff rings and uh, other such things. You know, that didn't do any real attack effects on their own. Okay, so that ice can be melted with fire. That's going to be important for us for a couple of reasons as we go through with this dungeon. This is also the point where monsters actually start giving some decent amount of gold. Not just uh, in their base gold, but uh, also the gold drops they have a chance of giving up. Oh 
nothing else there. Yeah, playing through both again does make me kind of wish they did do single character adventures in East again. Because East 7 had a party system, Memories of Celseta had a party system, and East 8 is going to have one too. That doesn't mean that I'm not looking forward to East 8, because from the preview trailer, it looks like it'll take place around uh, not Greece. Though, considering it's just called Greek in. Uh, the East so world, they're not really trying very hard there. Even less than they did for the Africa continent. You know, with an O. Okay, those rock monsters, can't kill them. And I won't be able to until a good bit later into this dungeon. They can kill me pretty easy, though. Okay, here's another berm leaf. Well, I guess Falcom can uh, try all kinds of stuff with the E series. According to The uh, framing device uh, of uh, the East Games at all left behind about a hundred volumes of uh, travel journals before uh, he had died somehow. It's not entirely clear how either it was naturally or he disappeared during some ill-fated expedition to the North Pole. So they have plenty of uh, room for material as the East Games go forward. I'm still kind of glad that uh, Falcom makes East games, even though the greater part of their efforts is actually on the uh, Kiseki games. That is the series that started with Trails in the Sky. Stupid ground dwelling lurker thingamajigs. They don't do much damage to me, but they're annoying all the same. Thankfully, they tend not to appear during sensitive platforming uh, sections, of which there are many later on, but we won't be dealing with them in this video. Just making sure I didn't miss anything. Didn't miss anything. Maybe hey, those enemies were kinda in Arkham to pitch them, you know, the plant ones. I kind of wish I'd known uh, there was actually going to be a Steam release before I did my playthrough of Arkham and Pishtim. I don't regret doing it when I did, though. Even though the Pishtim isn't quite as refined as the uh, later games that use the engine, like Felgana and Origin. I still really like Ark because... It's an in-game... Uh, it's an in-series acknowledgement that Adol has come to be a legendary hero in terms of uh, his abilities. Oh yeah, 
we're going to be picking up plenty of Revolor around here. And I'm going to need every last piece. No enemies? I know what that means. It's mid-boss time, but first... Okay, I bought the Banded Shield. I had a bad feeling about going into this fight without it, so I decided to just go and grab it. Oh dear. Hello, Delarn. Hey, I ain't dead until you have the body. You shall die in the embrace of the furries. Okay. Change from Wanderers. Legati was originally one harpy. Now she is three harpies. Each one is only really vulnerable to a certain kind of attack you have. Red one is weak to fire, blue is weak to sword, and green is weak to wind. Also, they have very, very many attacks. And the attacks they have are dependent on how many of them are left. So since I've killed one, we're going to be starting to see something different from the remainders. You can try to weaken them individually, but that's also dangerous because the more there are, the more you uh, directions you have to deal uh, with enemy attacks from. So, really, either way uh, you can choose to do it uh, poses uh, some problems. But, with just one left... Oh, I'll be fine. I don't know why I took that damage. But, boss fight over. Hey, adventurer! Okay, now we can actually move forward. I wasn't going to end the video right there because there was some stuff I wanted to cover before we he moved out of this particular segment. The first is meeting the owner of this house. Yeah, about describing Adol's eyes as black, pretty much every little piece of uh, literature uh, describes Adol as having really dark eyes. In fact, this was emphasized in the PC-88 manual of uh, East one which I kind of wish someone had translated because... Uh, Well, it was like an old PC game uh, manual and had like 30 pages of backstory. 
Now, Berhardt is gonna fill us in on the rest of this whole Galbalon business. Okay, kinda expected that this was real. At least the monsters came from something. Oh, Dogie's thinking ahead. Okay, this is also where you would get the Bandit Slayer in Wanderers, because you couldn't actually buy it in the original. But now there's another thing I want to get while I'm up here. I want to uh, get all the burn leaves because the fourth one is actually really easily missed. There are actually a, quite a few topics uh, on the Oath message board about where to find the last berm leaf. So I just thought I'd give you all the benefit of knowing where it is. some new enemies here, but nothing we can't handle with our equipment and all that junk. Let's see, deal with these things. Down thrust is super useful again. And the last berm leaf is here. Wait, why am I climbing? I don't need to go up there yet. There we go. Oh yeah, Pickards. That's where I was going. Oh yeah. It's pretty nasty up there. Yeah, I'm just gonna say right now, they brought back the stone shoes for Oath and Felgana. Got it. Yeah, I'm not gonna pass up any side quest as at all because 
Helping people is what he does. Okay. Not a huge boost, but appreciate it anyway. Oh yeah, I'm gonna want to use that, won't I? Wait, where did I get that mirror? Oh well, it doesn't really matter. So that's it for this time. Join me next time when we go deeper into the mountains. Bye!